Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify store owners. Okay, this is a cool one. You want to do a before and after slider on your product page, on your blog pages, I don't care. It's going to look something like this. We're going to show you the full code tutorial so you can do it by yourself. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you like these types of, you know, free coding advice and tricks and stuff. If you like free stuff and you're on Shopify, just subscribe. It's going to help you out. All right, let's jump straight into it right here. First and foremost, we're going to go to online store and we're going to click on action and duplicate. This is going to create a duplicate of our code base that we're going to be working on. That way, if you make a mistake, you mess up, it's no big deal. You still have your live version going. If you do it on your live version, you make a mistake, you're screwed. If you don't want to think about all this and you want to support the channel a bit, check out Rewind. It's a really, really cool app that if you grow, you're definitely going to need. It backs up automatically everything. That way, let's say Black Friday, suddenly your site shuts down because there is a bug. You're just going to Rewind. You go into the previous version and you're live again instead of calling your developer and this and that. So Rewind, if you use the link down below, you help the channel and it, it avoids this problem. Anyway. We're going to do it right here quickly with the um, duplication. Once the duplication is done, you're going to do edit code right here. All right, this code is a little bit different because you need jQuery to do it. Some of you might have jQuery, some of you don't. I'm not a huge fan of jQuery. I don't suggest that you all start installing it like crazy, but you know, for the purpose of this YouTube video and to keep everything simple, I'm just adding jQuery, just a side note. But anyway, here on the side, you're going to have team.liquid, theme, not team, theme. And you're going to find the closing head tag. This is what the opening head tag looks like. You know, this little, this little Pac-Man with a head. If you click it, it turns orange, I guess. Well, you're going to look for the other orange one right here. And that is a little Pac-Man with a forward slash. That is the closing head tag. You're going to work right in front of Pac-Man. I'm going to hit enter a couple of times. Oh, that's not good. I removed Pac-Man. Do not remove Pac-Man. There you go. And basically, you're creating some space. Space doesn't matter in code. You can hit enter as much as you want. Then you're going to be adding a snippet of code. You're going to be pasting this code right here. Command paste. Now, you don't have to pause the video and retype all of this. I'm going to give you the exact code. You can just simply copy paste at the end of the video. Let's walk through it first, and then I'll give you the exact pieces of code. Once you have added that, you click on Save. Now, this might work if you already have jQuery installed, and I know a lot of you guys already do. So let's test it out. If not, we'll have to come back. First and foremost, let's put our version live because we're going to need it. So we're going to click on action right here. This is the last save just now version, and we're going to publish it. It's going to ask if we're sure. Yes, we are sure. Great. Next thing we want is a before and after picture. So I have two pictures right here. That's not there. So um, these are the guys that took the picture. So I want to fend guys or girls, whatever, that took the picture. Um, you know, I want to make sure to give them credit. But so I had these two pictures right here, and I'm going to upload them to Shopify right now. For that, I'm going to go to Settings, Files, Upload Files. And I'm selecting, I'm uploading those two. It's going to take a while to upload those two files, but they're going to show up in the list right here. If we refresh, they should be there. Great. I have my before and my after picture. Now let's go to products because I want to add the before and after slider on product. And let's say I want to add it in the letter bag. So I don't know why it makes sense to me. We're going to click on show editor right here. And we're going to go at the very top or wherever you want to put it really. And I'm going to hit enter a couple of times to create some spacing. Remind yourself as soon as you're in the editor, Oh, well, there you go. I didn't save. Spacing doesn't matter, so you can put as much as you want. And then we're going to paste this piece of code right here. Ah, I forgot to copy the links to my 
images. So um, open link in new tab. So settings, files. These are the two images I uploaded a second ago and I'm gonna copy the first image link and I'm going to add it to source. I'm gonna keep that little quote mark there but I'm gonna remove all the rest and I'm gonna paste that URL for the first image. And then I'm going to take the URL for the second image. Same thing here. Remove all of that and paste it. The bottom line is that you want your images. You always want two images. If you know how to add images in HTML, it's pretty straightforward. Image tag, source, and then the URL. You want two images side by side in one div and the div is called 2020 container. And that's going to make sure that, that those two images automatically transform in a slider before and after. If you didn't understand anything of what I just said, don't worry, just copy and paste it like I'm doing right now. We're going to save it. And then we're going to preview our product. Now again, this might not work at this point. And it's not. It's not working. It should be right here. That's because this is a pretty clean theme and I don't have jQuery installed. So if it's not working for you at this point, well, if it's working for you, great. If it's not, one more step you're going to do is you're going to go back to your online store, back to where you pasted the code originally in theme.liquid right before the head tag. Let's find the head tag. That's the opening. That's the closing. This is the piece of code. And you add some jQuery. right here. Paste it, save, and then your uh, the jQuery code looks like this. By the way, script source. And then you should be able to refresh it. And there we go, we have a slider. And we can slide the before and the after. If you sell sunglasses, right, I don't know what you're selling, but you know, it's a cool, nifty little feature. All the codes that I have just talked about, you go in the link, there is a link to the blog post and all the codes are right there. So you can simply copy and paste and it is done. Make sure to check out Rewind if you want to support the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like free stuff regarding Shopify that pushes you to the next level. And make sure to also check out our, you know, our general strategy videos. You're going to be making some solid money if you just watch these videos. Thanks a lot. See you in another video.